Hi guys, Jamie here. Good food can be incredible. It can cheer you up. It can be the focus of social gatherings and parties. It's just amazing. And that's why me and the guys from Hotpoint don't think any of it should go to waste. Meat is the third most wasted food. The most wasted is chicken. And there's so many things that you can do with leftover chicken. One of my favorite dishes is to make the most incredible leftover bang me. Just bringing the chicken back to life in a pan, getting it golden and crisp. And then I'll add a little bit of sweet chili sauce to glaze it and give it flavor. Look at that. It can all be done super easily with this hot point induction hob. It's really quick to heat up, so you can knock it together in no time at all. Come on! That is a sandwich. <laughs> Freezers are like time capsules for food. It's like pressing pause. If you've got some fruit about to go bad, put it in the freezer, so then you can make wonderful puddings, desserts, sauces, smoothies another day. I love freezing herbs before they go to waste. Tear them up, pop them into little ice cube trays with a little olive oil, whack them in a freezer, and they're like little flavor bombs ready to be used in your cooking. Amazing and properly, properly clever. You can freeze other stuff too, like curry paste, leftover coconut milk, perfect for making a dish like this lamb and chickpea curry. Delicious. Chilies! Frozen, it goes completely hard. Just get a fine grater and you can do fantastic things over a curry, salads, little grilled meats, fishes, even better over a mozzarella with olive oil. Delicious. One of the most wasted foods we eat is bread. 24 million slices a day in the UK alone. But it doesn't have to be that way. If you've got any leftover bread, you can make an amazing bread and butter pudding cooked perfectly and evenly thanks to the multi-flow technology in this hot point oven. So good. But it doesn't have to stop there. Oh no. Instead of putting stale bread in the bin, don't do that. Cut it up, freeze it, and then another time, roast it up. Make the most incredible croutons. Or you could just whiz them up into breadcrumbs and pop them in the freezer and use it to make a crispy topping on a gooey mac and cheese and a crumb coating for a healthy homemade fish finger. Or a simple pan grattata, which is beautiful breadcrumbs fried in olive oil, garlic and herbs, and it adds the most incredible texture to a simple pasta. Sorting out your fridge and freezer is a really effective way to help avoid wasting food too. The temperature varies a bit in any fridge as heat rises, so keep your meat and fish in the cooler part at the bottom. And then foods like dairy in the middle, and make sure that you keep cooked meat on a separate shelf to any raw meat. Keeping veg in the correct drawer, like the crisper drawer in this hot point fridge, is absolutely key to fresh, crunchy and delicious veg. Proper organization also means that you can easily see what you've got to play with and it can help you rustle up something really delicious like an amazing chopped salad. You can use so many things, cabbages, herbs, fruits, you name it, you can get it in there, dress it with a little bit of love and you get something as beautiful as this.